A Berkeley University student getting her master's in computer science decided to take on a side project during the pandemic lockdown. Well, the impact was far reaching. Here's CBS's Anna Warner. When Gloria Tumashabe walks across the Berkeley campus, she carries with her hope for her native Uganda, 14,000 miles away. A full scholarship launched her engineering and computer science studies at this top U.S. school, but she says too many others are left behind. I felt like I won the lottery when I got my, the letter that was saying I got into Berkeley and then I got a scholarship. I don't think I slept. In Uganda, 77% of the population is under 25. Opportunities are limited, she says, particularly for women. In a lot of homes, it's still very traditional. The woman does more of the housework and the cleaning and all that. Many who do attend school were set back by the pandemic. Martha Atwane is one of them. Basically do housework because that was all that I could do in the pandemic. But a world away, Gloria decided to help. And so I thought maybe this is my moment to actually start teaching and really empower these people to learn computer science. She spread the word back home that she'd teach girls how to write computer code. Gloria told me to reach out to other girls who are interested. Very many of my friends are interested, but they didn't have laptops. So they had to figure out how to get computers. I was able to get a hand-me-down. But spotty Wi-Fi kept some girls away, so Gloria pitched in there too. I'm so lucky I have a scholarship that gives me a stipend, so part of my stipend goes to, towards the girls' internet. A GoFundMe followed. Now, instead of teaching one class, we're actually teaching two classes. Her program, called African Femme Coders, now includes mentors from Silicon Valley. And I've been able to create some games, and then I've also been able to learn how to make websites. Those Gloria helped in this pandemic year will be applying to U.S. colleges. You're studying for a master's degree right now, right? So how are you having time to do this? Sometimes it feels like a lot, but I get the satisfaction from watching how much my students have grown. And then I'll get these phone calls like, hey, Gloria, I'm just calling to say thank you. She'll head home to Africa, bringing with her, she hopes, lessons for an entire continent. Anna Werner, CBS News, Berkeley, California.